Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at a demo of Mac OS 9. Mac OS 9 was the final Mac OS classic release before it was discontinued in favor of Mac OS 10. So as you can see with Mac OS 9 we have our finder pattern over here and we have our sidebar. Mac OS 9 9.2 was released around 2001 to 2002 and that was the final 9 release as well 9.2.2 .2. and this is being run on a virtual machine so over here if we click on the rainbow apple we have the opportunity for airport apple dvd player which works on certain macs System Profiler, let's click on that actually. This is being emulated off a QEMU machine. A PowerPC G4 one. It's emulating a Power Mac G4 AGP graphics. So we can close that. We have the calculator, which is the same as the old school classic Mac calculator. We have our control panels. We can look at the appearance so with appearance, we can change the pattern, for example. So if we want to change it to like Lollipop 6 or Lollipop 5 in this case. Lollipop 5 was for the iMac G3 Ruby color, I believe. Either the Ruby or Tangerine. No. This was the tangerine color. And this color was actually used on the iBook, the original iBook G3. And this color is the blueberry color, which was originally used on the original iBook blueberry. Now let's just change it to the Mac OS default, which is this. Now, as you can see, we have MultiFinder, which allows us so we, if you want to hide an application or hide or show all of the applications, then you can use this MultiFinder taskbar here. So let's click on OS9 Lives, which is our hard drive and our applications. So we have various applications here, including a DVD player, Acrobat Reader. So we could open that up. And accept the terms. And we can't view PDF files. So in this case, we'll just close it. We have Apple Extras, which is simply just notepad and simple sound and some control control such as airport. We have our graphing calculator which allows someone to do like linear equations such as y equals mx plus b. And it would end up looking something like this. But we also have a demo here which allows you to use version free types. So we're not going to save this. This is how one of the graphics takes place using version free. Graphing in spherical coordinates. So such as here we have this earth. And we'll let it do one more. We have this rainbow color. So that was a graphing calculator. Then we also have some internet utilities. This version of Mac OS was actually heavily marketed for internet as well. So we have an Internet Explorer 5.1. This was at the time Apple had a deal with Microsoft, which allowed them to use Internet Explorer. Then we have iTunes 2. So if we click on that, I accept the terms and conditions. And we have iTunes over here. This version of iTunes was actually the first to allow using 
or synchronizing with iPods. As you can see, it says update iPod. So that's an interesting fact. Then we've got our QuickTime, where we have our sample movie. We'll click later. And this is just a demo, which in this case is very, 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 very laggy. Then we've got our sample image, which is used picture viewer to view the image, which is QuickTime and an Earth. Now, one thing with Mac OS 9 that did stand out was the use of Sherlock. Sherlock was an application that was also used in the early Mac OS where if you want to easily search up file names, you could just search it up here. So if we want to search up the graphing calculator, we can just press the search button and it will lead it to all names that are related to graphing. But you can also use Sherlock to connect to the World Wide Web with the internet. You could also use it, but before that, you, we have our custom websites like CNET, DirectHit, Lycos, and Rolling Stone, which is a music blog. We have graphing. We have some e-commerce sites such as Amazon and early eBay. We have our news which is CNN and CNET. We have the Apple logo here, which gives us to the Apple logo, Apple website. We have some library sites such as Britannica, Encyclopedia, How Stuff Works and Dictionary.com. And then we have a custom channel, which is just called my channel. And we have entertainment, which unfortunately for this case, it doesn't seem like there's any sites there. So that was Mac OS 9. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.